Hey, what's up? Happy December. I'm here in my ugly Christmas sweater. And in this video, I want to go over how I specifically run ads for my school group, as well as some basics on meta ads. So if you are starting from zero, if you, if you have no idea, you will need a business manager. If you don't know what it is, I have included a URL that you can go to and check if you have any existing business. So in the video description, I will have this document so you can use the links inside. So let's go to business.facebook.com forward slash select. So here you should be able to see all your businesses, like all of the businesses you have access to currently. You can see I currently have four and you can create up to four business managers as well. But since I only created one of these, I still have the option to create more. It's really simple. You just need to click on create a business, fill out your data, which should be name or business name. It doesn't matter. You can change it later. Once you do this, you need to go to your email and then click the link and you can go inside your business and start managing it. So in this case, I use my one and it should take you to the following page. Now this layout is always changing on Meta. Like every month they are updating this. So it might be different by the time you are seeing this video. But if it is, just reach out to me and I'll be super happy to help you. From here, you go to Ads Manager. You wait for it to load and then you will see your ad account. But in your case, you probably don't have any ad account. So you need to click on the business settings on the left, the branch icon. You will see this. So first you will see your name here under people. So these are all the people that have access to the business portfolio. You can easily add more people by just inviting and then adding an email address. So it's super simple. What you will need to start running ads is a page. So you can see I have multiple pages added. You can add the page. If your personal Facebook is already connected to a page, uh, in my case, I have it connected to my agency, which is Oopscale. So you can see I can add it here, but I already have it added to the business manager. You can also create a brand new page from this section. You just need to add the page name, a category, and then a short bio section about your page. Then you need to, you need to create an ad account and then add if you don't have any. It's super easy to create. You, you click on create a new ad account actually. And then you just name it, new ad account, whatever time zone you are currently in. and the currency you want to use. So this will be for my business. Then you click on create. And then in this section, you need to assign all the people who are going to have access to this ad account. So it's only me in this business manager and I am going to have full control. Okay, so once you create it, it automatically pops up. You need to add the payment info. So you just click this button. You need to go to the right side, click this drop down, view payment methods. Click on there. And then it's going to load. And you are going to click get started. So it's my country, Hungary. I like to use US dollars because it's easier to do the math. And then you need to add your business info. So business name, street address. This is for legal and tax purposes. So I recommend reach out to your accountant. But I have it set up. And if you are buying it for ads purposes, you need to have it on. And so once you have it, you save this info. And then you add a credit card or PayPal, whatever works for you. And then it should be super straightforward. 
it's going to do a one dollar transaction just to see if it's a valid card and if it actually works and that's all that you need to do on the ad account side next we need to add a facebook page and an instagram page we already discussed how the facebook page works next will be the instagram page under accounts you will see instagram accounts same option you can add the instagram account if you click this button you will have the option to just sign in and it's going to be assigned to your business and you will also need to assign yourself so click on the instagram account that you want to use on your ads click assign people select yourself and then give yourself full control so that's going to be needed so as the last step we have installing a pixel which is super important for you to track your data see if your ads are working so this is a two-step process you need to go to your business settings again click on data sources and then select data sets here you need to add the new pixel which you can just do by clicking add and just name this data set which would be just school group pixel just to make sure it's easy to track then click on create here you can choose whichever option i recommend the first one and then hit next and then you can just exit this and make sure you have this pixel selected because you need to assign yourself so you have access to it so you need to click assign people i actually select all because it's best to have the api connected as well and then give yourself full control and then we also need to connect the ad account to this pixel so you need to click on assign assets and then here you need to select the new ad account that we just created so you can just click add and then it's done ready to go now you need to go to school and select the group that you want to set up tracking for so i have my paid group you need to go to settings click on plugins and then if you scroll down you will see meta pixel tracking which is currently off so to turn it on you need to click edit turn it on and then you will have the options to connect the meta pixel so you will need to insert the meta pixel id and the access token so it give you pretty nice tutorials which i recommend watching if it's easier to you but you can basically go back to the business settings Make sure you have the correct pixel selected. Click on open in events manager. And then once you have the pixel, you go to settings and you will find the data set ID here. So it's named data set ID, but the meta pixel ID is the same. So you need to click on copy and then just paste it here for the access token. Scroll down a little bit and we need to select set up with the direct integration and you will see an option to generate access token so once you click on it you can just copy the code by clicking here so it's done go back to the school page and then paste the access token so once it's done you just need to connect your page and it takes a few seconds to connect it so we need to test the app there are two ways to do it you can just click on test and you can see it's a success but you can also go back to your pixel uh, go to test events and then select the second one confirm your website events are set up correctly and then run the test to your school page enter the url and actually make sure it's going to the about section so open website Okay, we are at the about page. Let's do some clicks. Go back to the events manager and we can see it's success is tracking page view.